lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. Today I want to talk to you about special releases for whiskey festivals because as you know festivals in Belgium are quite big. Well Belgium is a, a big whiskey country, whiskey is very popular in our country so we have quite a few festivals. The best known are of course the one in Ghent, the International Malt Whiskey Festival and then there's that other one Whiskey Live which is a worldwide whiskey event but the Belgian uh, event of Whiskey Live takes place in Spa, you know, the resort where you can go for wellness and that sort of thing. They also have a beautiful whiskey festival and Whiskey Festival, uh, Whiskey Live Spa, uh, their 10th anniversary which was in 2013, for that whiskey festival they selected a very special single cast. As you know all whiskey festivals who respect themselves will have a special bottling to be released at that festival. This was the release for Whiskey Live uh, 10th anniversary in 2013. A single cask from Ben Riach. Now Ben Riach, as you know, is a, uh, a Speyside whiskey. It is a distillery run by uh, Billy Walker and his, uh, and his team. Uh, I once was actually fortunate enough to meet Billy Walker and he actually got him to sign my bottle for me. So I long thought to uh, keep this bottle closed in my collection, but reading and hearing all the praise that this release got, I just had to open it up and give it a try as it should be. Now this is a single cask and it's a bit special. Why? Because Ben Riech is known for wood management, fruity whiskies, but this, this is a virgin oak hogshead. It yielded only 323 bottles and it's a 16 year old because it was distilled in 1969 and bottled in 2013. But it is special for the fact that it's a virgin oak hogshead. That means that the, uh, the uh, Ben Riech spirit was the first liquid to enter that cask. It had not uh, matured bourbon or sherry or anything else before that. That means that we will be getting a rather spicy Ben Riach, in my opinion. And that might make it a bit atypical. It is bottled at 50% ABV and it's sold at the festival for 69 euros. So I'm not sure if you will still be able to find it, but left and right you might be able to pick one up for around 70 euros. So 50% ABV, a Ben Riach 16 year old virgin oak hogshead. It is uh, amber hued, maybe even a bit darker than amber, but it's got this beautiful body with big fat tears coming down the glass very, very slowly. So, on the nose. Well, the nose is very fresh and vibrant and I get all sorts of fruits. I get raisins, I get some, some, some apricots, apples, watermelon even. And even some banana, the citrus is all the way in the back, but it is there. Oh, I get some beeswax as well. This is a very creamy nose, very fruity, but loads of spices, including star anise and some peppermint. And that must be from the virgin oak. Wow. Finally, in the, in the very back, at the end, I also get some floral elements. This nose is very, very enticing. On the palate then. Punchy, creamy, surprisingly sweet. I get some, some, some green wood actually, some young wood, some tannins in there. It's very oaky, but not, no, oaky is not the right word to say. It's a, it, there's a lot of oak in there, but it's not oaky, it's not over the top. It's well balanced against the, uh, the very fruitiness that you get there, but predominantly on this palette, I do get the spices. I get some pepper, I get some cinnamon, I get some star anise again, the mint returns. It's very spicy, very powerful as well, and it delivers a bit of heat. Um, I get some more beeswax and citrus as well, and even some chocolate in there. Now let's find out what this does on the finish. It starts off very creamy, spicy, it's medium long, it's a bit hot, but towards the end it does become a bit drying, and that, that is really the woods talking here, but not oaky at all. So all in all, I have to say, while they are mostly known for releasing very fruity whiskey, this is very fruity as well, but here the virgin oak really dominates 
on the palate and in the finish, the spices, the, the wood, the oak, but it is all very well balanced, making this one an odd one out maybe, but very much Ben Riach at its heart. And it, a very worthwhile whiskey, um, and it was a very nice selection for that whiskey festival. I'm glad I opened it up and gave it a try, because this is a beautiful Ben Riach, as most of the Ben Riachs are. Ben Riach is one of my favorite distilleries, it has to be said. Well, and that's all for this Whiskey Rambling, and I hope to see you again at one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, may the mob be with you. Bye-bye.